just saying sort of like the iceberg, I mean, it is sort of a tool in a way, and it is a metaphor for a person. And yet sort of what we're hoping for in this like um, manifesting our life energy is that we are a drop of water in the ocean and we are the ocean. So we're not necessarily always the iceberg. We have moments where we're in reaction or we're triggered, where then it's very useful to say, what happened? What was I expecting? How did I see myself? What yearning does that, do I have that I didn't know that I want to get met? And then when we're in that state of um, oneness, I guess, which is like the whole ocean, then it's melted. So it's sort of a, it goes back and forth. Is that what you're saying? It's sort of like- Yeah, a, yeah. The, it's, there's a dynamic relationship between form and essence, right? There's times, so it, the, other, the other part of this thought comes from um, my inspiration and, and uh, appreciation for Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a famous martial artist, which I think everyone knows who that is. And he has this quote, he says, be like water, you know? You put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a teapot, it becomes a teapot. It can flow, so it can be soft, but it can also it can also crash. It could carve stone. Well, that's interesting, right? So the and and the essence of our if you think about your physical body, what's flowing right now? Hopefully everything, you know, digestion, blood, your immune system, like your your neurotransmitters. You want flow, and that's uh, you know, flow is a word used to describe. Uh, higher states of consciousness and and the integration of the balance between skill and challenge. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think water and flow are appropriate ways, uh, are fitting ways to describe at least my experience of Virginia. And I think hopefully that, that, that makes sense to people. Um, and to, and, you know, Sharon, uh, she, she sent me a note. She said, cause, uh, cause we've been talking about these things for years now, Sharon Lotion. And, she said she was working with someone and the image of, of ice came up and the client decided to melt it. So, I mean, that's come up for me many, many times where that's an appropriate sort of metaphor. Uh, I've, a client says, I've been feeling really depressed and I felt completely frozen. I felt stuck. Um, stuck in what? A particular way of behaving, a particular way of feeling, a particular way of expecting, right? So that's the rigidity. What's the transformation? The transformation is being able to look at that and Virginia talked about, I wish everyone had a tail with an eyeball on the end of it so they could look, right? So the, 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 the externalization of awareness and that process of looking is the melting. It's like, hey, there, that, there's that, there's that. And the, the relating to that is like love, it's connection. It's like, okay, I, I love the fact that, I love that whatever I did to survive when I was five was the best thing I could come up with. And I love that, I can appreciate that. Now I'm gonna hold your hand uh, let's move to something else. Um, so that's that's the way I saw, uh, and I understand that she worked. Um, so melting is is a very important concept to bridge my sort of beginning understanding of the iceberg and and trying to to move it along. <laughs>